Okay, so uh, this is uh, part four. So this means that you've put together your, um, or at least the best as, you, as best you can, you've tried to assemble the video clips or the animated clips and your audio clips uh, into the video one and audio one uh, layers of your uh, timeline here, this area here, and you've got your, pretty much your story uh, that you've thought in your head and put down on the storyboard is now uh, a reality here, a visual story, visual storytelling here. And so we're assuming you're done at that point. So I don't know about you, but I really like music and sound effects uh, to be added to the things that I'm listening and watching. So uh, why don't we do that here? And YouTube offers a whole bunch of um, copyright free, which means legal to use, um, songs and sound bytes or, or sound effect files um, that you can download and put in your videos. And um, you have a YouTube channel through your ClassLink account. Uh, they just have not added the YouTube app to ClassLink. But if you go to YouTube um, outside of ClassLink and log in with your username and password that you use for ClassLink with your Chromebook, uh, it will take you to your um, it takes you to your uh, YouTube channel. And during this unit, this video production unit, we are going to develop our YouTube channels. And uh, you know, go ahead and start putting some of these videos, some of the things that we do on Web Starts and on YouTube. Anyway, let's do that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a command S just to make sure I've saved everything that I've worked on so tirelessly. Uh, and I'm gonna go now to um, YouTube. And all you gotta do is go to youtube.com. So uh, let's see, how do we do that? You would go to mrjaffe.net, and then you would go to Google, and um, you would uh, go over here. I'm gonna sign out, and I'm gonna actually exit out of that. And you would just go to YouTube, right? So Google, and then click sign in. All right, sign in from google.com. And you won't have this here. You'll say use another account, or it might even ask you for your email address. So that's when you're gonna put your ID number at pusdschools.net, okay? I have a different one than you. Teachers just use our email address, which is a little different from yours. And then we're going to click next. And it's going to take you to class link. And now you just do the same thing. Put in your ID number at posdschools.net. I'm going to do mine. Gotta spell Paramount, right? And password can't tell you what it is. Gotta hide it from you. And there we are. So believe it or not, this is our YouTube channel, our YouTube page. Uh, it's not gonna look any different than YouTube normally does. The only difference is over here, you are signed in. Okay, so if you click here, uh, it's gonna show that you're signed in and um, well, actually it wants, yeah, my account. So I'm gonna click on my account. Why is it doing that? No, it shouldn't do that. Okay, hang on one second. Oh, I don't think I'm at YouTube yet, right? Let's go back. Yeah, I was, what the heck? What the heck's going on? Go back, Let's try that again. Uh, right, I need to get to the YouTube app. So let me get to YouTube. That's what we want. Yeah, let's go there. There we go. Now you know you're signed in, okay? Because you're gonna, they're gonna be like some initial there for your first name or something. Click on that, and you'll go. You'll see that there's that you're logged in, and that you have some places that you can go. You have a channel, and we have a studio, a creator studio. So I'm gonna go to creator studio. Because that's where the sound effects are. And after all, that's what this training video is about. Almost forgot, huh? 
so now I'm going to here on my uh, Creator Studio, and there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Uh, but all I want you to know right now is you can go down here to Create, and you got a couple of options here. You can uh, click on Audio Library, and go up here. You have two categories, two tabs. You got Free Music, and you have Sound Effects. So for free music, it's just like it sounds. It's free music. You can find some songs that you'll want to use for your EpiGen FL video. And uh, that means it's going to take some time to go through all this stuff because golly, golly, you guys don't know what that means. Um, uh, let me tell you, there are a lot of the uh, songs, a whole bunch, too many, too many to even listen to. But hey, you know, you might find an artist that you like or a type of music that you like, and you can then just, you know, narrow down your search that way. And you can listen to the music. Okay, uh, I like that. Uh, I'm just gonna do this one, let's say, okay? So when you find a song you like, notice it's three minutes long, okay? And notice that you can download it. So I'm gonna click that, and when I download, there it goes, downloads down here. Okay, so I have it in my downloads folder on my Mac. Uh, and you could do more than one song. You find more songs. Find as many as you want, as long as I know you're working and creating. We're good. All right, so now I'm going to go over here to sound effects. And, um, you know, there might be some sound effects that you can uh, use to add a little more uh, cool effects, uh, audio effects to your animation. So uh, you just search on whatever it is. And um, I think a good... I think a good scream would work. In fact, there's kind of a famous one that's always used in a whole bunch of adventure movies called the Wilhelm scream. And it goes way back. I think it goes back as far as the 1940s and or maybe 50s. And there was a Western that was made and there was an actor who was just like, just like a, a character, not, not even a character actor. He just was a stand in, you know, an extra. And he needed to scream in a scene. They needed somebody to scream. And so he screams. And that scream, uh, his name was Wilhelm, something Wilhelm. And so they call that the Wilhelm scream. And it's used in a ton of movies. We're gonna, I'm going to show you all the movies that that scream is in. So let's see if they have it here for free on YouTube. Wilhelm scream. And we're going to search for it. And we're not going to find it. Okay, so no Wilhelm scream. Don't worry, I'll tell you more about that. You'll hear that thing in this class, trust me. Uh, but let's just uh, search on scream. And there's a whole bunch of scream. Ooh, let's, start, let's listen to this. Seven seconds long, horror. Hmm, scary. Uh, baby crying. Uh, for 41 seconds, no way. I don't want to listen to that for 41 seconds. Oh, what's this? Crowd yelling, uh, 15 seconds. Okay. Uh, let's see. Death impact yell multiple. No, we don't want death impact. Uh, female aggressive is zombie. Hmm. No, we don't want that one. Uh, let's see. Fem oh, God. Okay. Ooh. Let's see what this one is. Uh, that just sounds more... Like the mummy with Tom Cruise. Uh, anyways, let's say find one that you want to use uh, and you're going to download it. You're just going to click here and download it. And there it goes. It's in your downloads folder. All right. So uh, now we can go to where are we at? Ooh, we got to wrap this thing up. Taking a long time, aren't I? Uh, we're going to go to, uh, back to our uh, Premiere Pro. No, we're going to go to our folders. Uh, we're going to go to Finder. And we're going to go to our Downloads folder. And if you change to this view here, change to this view, and go up here to Date Added, and click on that so you get the down arrow, then it shows you the more recent things you've downloaded. And you can see that you've got this stuff right there. We don't want to leave it there. We want to move it to um, a copyright free music or sound or audio folder. So I'm going to go to documents. Um, but you know, that could be a little more work than we want right now. So 
We could also just go to our FL folder. So I'm going to go ahead and um, drag those guys, just like I did earlier. I'm going to drag those video files from downloads, right? To or I'm going to copy them. I could just kind of click on them too, and hold the command key, and click on the things that I need. I want those guys right there? Those two things, and then I could do a command C or I can, yeah. I can do that, Command C. And then I could go to uh, my documents and I can go to my epigen folder and I could do a Command V to paste. And now I have those MP3 files that I need there in my epigen FL folder. Okay, all that was done outside of Premiere Pro. Back to Premiere Pro, I need those things now in here. I need to import them. So I'm gonna go File. It's raining out there. I'm gonna go file import and I'm gonna get my epigen folder. I'm gonna change it to the list state modified. And oh wrong folder, that's why. Documents epigen fl. There they are. Okay, so I'm gonna click there. And I'm gonna hold the command key down and click on that one too. So I got both my MP3 files my soundbite and my music and I'm going to import those guys in and there they are one's three minutes long the other is seven seconds long double click and hear that okay sounds like somebody made something in GarageBand huh and published it and now we're using it right you guys can do that anyway um Heck, we should do that in this class, huh? Okay, anyway, uh, I've got my song. And if I click from here and drag it and put it into Audio 2 or Audio 3, where it doesn't get in the way of any of my other audio files, you can see it's way longer than my than my movie. Way longer, okay? So what i got to do is chop it down a little bit. And in this case, I could just go to the end of it, click Hold, and drag it all the way until it snaps at the end right there you can see that black line popped up even though I had my playhead somewhere else you can see uh, that it uh, was easy to snap into place okay all right and now um, I would have music playing behind in the background of all my stuff Okay, the problem is, it's probably going to be too loud when I'm going to talk. Let's let's try it when we have our audio file. Overwhelming feelings of sadness, isolation, and despair. If depression is not treated, it could increase the chances of. Well, might not be too loud, but I think it needs to be softened a little bit. I think we need to lower the volume down just a little bit. So we'll show you how to do that real easily on the clip itself. Um, first of all. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can see this a little bit, that wave file there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of go in between, right like that, between uh, just below uh, audio layer 3. And I'm going to stretch it down so it's taller. And you can see that white line, that's the volume. So I can play it. Or I can lower the volume I just drag that white line down a little bit and now listen okay so the audio of that music is softer so I'm not drowning my my audio file my my narration out Overcome serious illnesses. but it makes the, the whole thing sound better or artery diseases. okay so uh, that's doing that one last thing we're gonna run out of time you would do the same thing for your audio your audio effect. You would place it wherever you need it to be, okay? And also adjust the volume. I'm out of time. i got to cut this off now. Hey, see that? It all plays together. You see that? Of course, you want to lower the volume of that the same way. Okay. Hope that wasn't too much for you. Do a Command-S to save, and we are done.